after about three to four months of me doing that, I went through withdrawal. I went through withdrawal for like two weeks to a month. I remember when I was done taking them, I would wake up in the morning craving that opioid. I was like, mm, I wish I could still pop some more. Time to be open and vulnerable. I've never told anyone this story, but why not? It's my life, and sometimes I like to share some details in my life. Shout out to the gang. Let's hop into this video. Let's go. I know you want me. You said you're lonely. You can't get none. What's good, Dark Knight gang, motherfucking gang, I'm Neptune. All right, bro, um, yeah, I was reading some of my comments, I just got done working out, you know what I'm saying, you see your boy looking beefy, so I just got done working out and I was reading some of my YouTube comments, and one of the homies was like, hey, Neptune, you always say how you love drugs, like, how did you get started on them, why do you say you love them, and why aren't you addicted to them? This is what the homie asked me. And I was just like, you know what? I never really talked about my whole experience with drugs. So let me let me just let you guys know how I got started and how basically I was addicted when I was a kid, bro, when I was a teenager. Anyway, let, let's, let's just hop into the story. As you guys know, I told you guys, I grew up, I was an athlete. I played sports my whole life. When I was in high school, I started to play football. When I was 15 years old, my sophomore year, I was in the 10th grade, 10th grade, the beginning of the school year, playing football, doing my thing, I tore my ACL. I had to have ACL surgery to repair my ACL at 15 years old. Yeah, man, I still have the scar to this day to show it. You have the surgery, and what does your surgeon, what does your doctor prescribe you? They prescribe you opioids. And this isn't a minor surgery. This isn't like, oh, take a small amount of opioids that's weak. No, 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 no. I had ACL surgery, so they prescribed me some hard dose, high dose Vicodin at 15 years old, bro. And the prescriptions that they wrote me was for so much, it lasted months, months. So 15 years old. I'm waking up, I'm in a lot of pain. I would pop an opioid, wait till that bit kick in, and I would start feeling great. I remember the first time I took the opioid, I was just like in a whole nother world. I felt just this euphoric feeling come over me. I never felt this feeling ever before. I was 15 years old, never experimented with any type of drugs at this point in my life. Of course, I was a kid. So anyway, took it, I was laying in my bed, my mom told me like, yeah, yeah, just chill for an hour. In an hour, you'll start feeling a lot better. So I was just like, all right, whatever. So I was just laying in my bed watching TV. All of a sudden, I just start to feel fantastic. <laughs> all, of my, all of my problems went away. All my pain went away in my body. I felt, I felt completely fine. I felt like I could start walking on my busted knee that just had surgery. I felt like I could walk on my knee. I felt just like I was in bliss. And I thought to myself, like, why am I feeling so good? Is this how drugs make you feel? 15 years old. And every six hours, every six to eight hours, I was able to pop one of those magic sensu beans like Dragon Ball Z. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like Dragon Ball Z, bro. When they eat a sensu bean and they feel fine. Nigga, that is how the opioids felt to me. Every six to eight hours. Boom, I'm popping the opioid. I'm feeling fucking amazing. So literally, I would wake up, pop one, eight hours later, pop another one, eight hours later before I went to sleep, pop another one, and have vivid imaginations, vivid dreams. Of course, during this time, I would fall in and out of sleep a lot throughout the day, have craziest dreams. Look, you guys know I'm a Pisces. I'm extremely creative, just like how I am to this day. So even back then, when I was a teenager, I was very creative. So I would have these crazy vivid imaginations these crazy dreams it was it was like i was living in a whole nother world just from popping these drugs bro so anyway 
after a few weeks, because I was I wasn't bedridden. I was bedridden for maybe like a week. Then after that, I was getting around on crutches. But I didn't go to school for like three weeks. So the whole three weeks of me just being home, I was just popping opioids every six to eight hours, three times a day. When I had to go back to school, my prescription still wasn't over. I was prescribed opioids for a good like three to four months, able to take them two to three times per day, bro. Insane, right? Anyway, at 15 years old. So anyway, I would go to school and I would bring my little magic sensu beans, of course, because after six to eight hours, I would be in a lot of pain on my knee. So I would wake up in the morning, pop one of those, just go to school. At nutrition or lunch, I'm popping another one. I was completely out of my mind. Bro, for about four months, when I'm 15, 16, I don't even recall life. I'm so serious. I don't even remember life because I was drugged up. Drugged up on opioids. But let me finish. Every six to eight hours, popping opioids, feeling euphoric, feeling great. My grades, of course, were suffering. I couldn't focus in class. Yeah, right. I was in class like a zombie. You know what I'm saying? Nobody knew why. None of the homies. I ain't tell none of the homies. Yeah, I'm popping these drugs. I ain't tell nobody. Teachers didn't know why. I would just be in class, like, sitting in the back of the class, like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Just out of it, bro, for three to four months, three to four months. I remember when my prescription was over and we couldn't get any more refills, since I was popping opioids two to three times per day, after about three to four months of me doing that, I went through withdrawal. I went through withdrawal for like two weeks to a month. I remember when I was done taking them and I was just like, all right, yeah, I'm done taking them. I told my mom I was done taking them. I would wake up in the morning craving that opioid. I was like, mm, I wish I could still pop some more. Then I'm like, yo, I'm tripping. Let me just go to school. I would go to school. At school, I would just have thoughts like, God damn, I wish I had some more. Like, I, I would be feeling good. But I was like, nah, nah, I'm tripping. Like, let me, let me be quiet. Let me just focus. After about maybe three days of not taking any, I would have sleepless nights. I would feel horrible. Anything that made me feel kind of down and depressed, it was like times a thousand during this time. Anything that made me upset it made me upset times a thousand i couldn't i wasn't talking to any girls i wasn't talking to any of my friends at school i was kind of i became kind of like a loner for a little bit i just wanted to be left alone because at school i felt i felt horrible i couldn't focus even though i couldn't focus when i was on drugs obviously but at least i was blissed out now i couldn't focus and i felt horrible my body felt horrible i felt like i had the shakes and the quivers I couldn't sleep at night. My body was craving the opioids. I was 15 years old. I remember getting home one day and just Googling, can you become addicted to Vicodin? And boom, all on the internet. It was saying how you can become addicted to opioids. You can have withdrawal from opioids. You can become an addict. Woo -woo -woo. Saying all this stuff. And I was just like, yo, I started to read all the different symptoms. And I was like, whoa, I'm addicted to this stuff. Literally in class, when I had my opioids, I would be like, I can't wait till I get home and I'm gonna just pop this bed and just watch some TV and go to sleep. I would be having thoughts like that, bro. And it's just crazy to me at 15 years old, the pharmaceutical company, I mean, of course they are trying to not make me feel in pain all day. And I appreciate that. But literally, I was addicted to drugs at 15 years old. And of course, I didn't tell my brothers, I didn't tell my sisters, I didn't tell my mom or my dad that I was addicted to opioids. Why would I? Hey, guess what? Since having surgery, I became addicted to drugs. I didn't tell them that. I just would be craving the drugs. I was craving them. And I remember... After I stopped taking them, I told myself, I'm always going to do this for the rest of my life. I remember telling myself, nothing feels this good. I will always do this for the rest of my life. I don't want to become addicted like how I was when I was taking them three days, um, three times per day for three to four months straight. But I was like, I am always going to do this. Nothing feels this good. Nothing makes you feel this euphoric nothing makes you feel this 
great. And I was 15. And that's how I got started on When I stopped taking opioids and I went through my withdrawal uh, symptoms and I got all of that out of my body and I wasn't addicted anymore, I would just do every few months, just like to this day. You know, I love myself and I'm very healthy and I take care of myself. I mean, you can look at my skin, my teeth, everything. I'm very healthy. I take care of myself. But I've always known drugs were going to be a part of my life. I view drugs as like a treat. And I know that's horrible, but that's how I view drugs. Drugs make you feel great and they take you to a whole nother place. So I just do them every now and then because it's like a treat. It's like, it's like eating your favorite junk food, fast food. You can't eat it every day. That's horrible for you. You know what I'm saying? So then you might eat out and pig out once every, I don't know, every once in a while. You know what I'm saying? You know that food is bad for you, so you don't do it all the time. You just eat it every now and then. That is how I do things. And a lot of you guys know I always, I make so many songs about drugs. I talk about doing drugs with women. That's why when I hang out with women, we do drugs and we have sex. Because it's a whole combination of just a, an, an euphoric feeling. It feels great. Drugs are one of the most pleasurable items in the world. That's why I don't judge people who are addicted to opioids. That's why I don't judge people who are addicted to drugs. Because I know. I know. I know. Nigga, I was addicted at 15. It's crazy how people judge others for being addicted to drugs. But people are addicted to fast food. You will see people addicted to sugar and fast food. And then they have the audacity to judge people who are addicted to drugs. If you can't get over your sugar addiction, if you tried one fucking drug, you will become addicted. I'm telling you that right now. If you can't get over a little sugar addiction, if you ever tried drugs, you would be out of your mind like, give me this all the time. This is why I don't judge people who are addicted. But yeah, man, that's my story with drugs. Got started when I was 15, all because I had knee surgery. I was allowed to take opioids three days a week for three to four months got me addicted that's kind of crazy though right how big pharma got me addicted to opioids at 15 and there's an opioid epidemic going on basically from the same thing that i've just explained a lot of people are addicted to opioids because the pharmaceutical companies would be here you go you have pain here's vicodin you have pain here's in whatever other opioid, here you go. And they prescribe so much of it. And that's why there's an opioid epidemic. I was I was one of the first ones too. I was 15 years old. But anyway, I just wanted to make this video really quick. Shout out to the gang. Everybody have a good day. Have a great day. Y'all just want a little bit more insight into my life. This is my life. I've lived a great life full of ups and downs, twists and turns. That's why I'm a fucking rock star and I still live... This rock star life. Anyway, see y'all next time. Yeah. Peace.